What's going on everybody? It's Warhawk and welcome to Nerf Talk. We have a video for you here because we have a new blaster coming into our collection. It is a Nerf blaster, but it's from a series that I'm going to say does not have the best or positive opinions out there. Um, but it, it is still a Nerf blaster and I was going to get it anyway. So that blaster is the Nerf Elite 2.0 Ranger. Now the funny thing about this blaster is I didn't even really know it was uh, released yet. I just happened to be walking through Toys R Us. I was looking for some of the new Fortnite blasters and the Ranger just happened to be sitting there. So I was like, sure, why not? Like I said, it is a 2.0 blaster and I'm gonna say, you know, some of the 2.0s have been a little disappointing. Uh, others, not too bad. Like the turbine's pretty good. I'm gonna say the Echo, once you fix the little mag release uh, button, it's a pretty cool blaster too. So my expectations on the Ranger, I'm gonna say are kinda in the middle. I'm not expecting anything amazing and I'm not expecting anything super bad. But I guess the only one way to tell how it is is to get it out of the box. So I'm gonna get this out and I'll give my honest opinion on it. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we have the Ranger out of the box. Uh, of course, you're gonna get your 2.0 Elite darts. Uh, with this blaster, you're gonna get 10 of them, which is kind of cool, because uh, normally with Nerf blasters nowadays, they tend to just give you the exact amount of darts that you need. Now, it also in the box, obviously, came the blaster itself. And I gotta say, the one cool thing about the 2.0 series is the actual look of the blasters. I do love the actual metallic blue color with the orange, and this one is no exception. This looks cool. So on the Ranger here, as you can see, it looks like we have a sling mount here and another one on the back. So that's kind of cool that that's there. There's a tack rail on the top and you are able to put a stock attachment on if you want to, which is kind of funny about the 2.0 and this drives me nuts. And let me know if this kind of drives you nuts too. The 2.0s have so many tack rails and so many attachment points on them, yet there are barely any 2.0 attachments out okay. there. I'm sorry, but to me, that's just kind of a little annoying. Because I'm like, cool, a stock attachment. Well, I know the Echo's got a stock. That might look good on here. Uh, that's about it. So it's like, you know what? Like, I could put a white one on there, but it would be nice to put a 2.0 stock on it. Just saying. But anyway, at least the option is there. You can put a stock on it if you want to. Uh, I'm going to go right to the grip next just because um this actually the grip on this actually kind of feels a little weird look at the angle on this thing i mean that's that's pretty angled but the cool thing is it fits in the hand like not too bad now unfortunately this here is obviously rubbing up on my hand right here but i do have adult hands so, you know, the grip is obviously going to be a little bit smaller for me as it would be for a younger nerfer. But, I'm telling you, this grip, it feels pretty good. And it's not very heavy. Uh, it's a very light blaster, I have to say. I was thinking because the way all this stuff is on the front and the bottom prime, it would be a little front heavy. And it's actually not. It's pretty well balanced out. But the grip is really nice. I do like the grip. Now, we'll go to the trigger and... It is definitely a sliding trigger. It's not one of the biggest triggers. Um, it kind of feels, it feels like a 2.0 trigger, like the rest of them. But as you can see, it kind of has a little bit of a different design here. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is a 2.0 trigger. It is what it is, right? Um, we do have these uh, five dark holders at the front of this. So we'll just check these and just see how well, actually, that's actually not a bad fit at all. It looks like uh, it looks like when you put your dart in, 
yeah, they're gonna stay in. So that's that's a bonus there too. And the other thing is the dart holder is at the front. Thank you for doing that. It drives me nuts when they put the dart holders at the back. So you have to like go from here to the front where on this one, you just grab it at the front and put it in. So that's very cool. I like when the dart holder is at the front. Now you're gonna notice something about the, the Ranger that's a little, a little weird. Look at that. It's not a four, it's not a six, it's a five. It's a five shot. Which to me is a little, I'm not used to seeing their flasters that only have a five shot option. Um, I know there are a couple out there. I know like the Doomland's long arm, it has a five dart barrel, but I don't know too many other nerf flasters out there that are just five shots. So uh, right there in on itself makes this flasher pretty unique because you know, it's not a four and it's not a six, it's a five. <laughs> so they, they went with an odd number that time. And then of course we have the prime on the bottom, which is pretty much your standard rough cut prime, uh, warden prime. And it does feel pretty smooth, let me say. That, that is not a, a bad prime at all. It's pretty easy actually. So basically kind of what we have here is a cross between a, a rough cut and kind of like, I think that's a wolf since right there, that kind of shotgun looking thing. Kind of looks like they put those two together and came up with the Ranger. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just load a couple darts in here and we'll just see how this thing fires off inside a couple times and then I want to take it outside, we'll get a couple shots off just to see, uh, see how far it can go. Because, of course guys, this is an Elite Blaster, so I've, you know the feet per second is anywhere between 65 to 75. They don't usually go much higher than 75 or much lower than 65. So, for Elite Blasters anyway. Anyhow, oh that's a very short time too. And, you know, you, I'm sure you can hear it when I'm shooting this, the kind of, you can hear the, the 2.0 sounds right so it's it's a 2.0 uh it's an elite blaster mixed with an alpha strike get your 2.0 but i gotta tell you it's uh i love the short prime and when you pull this trigger this thing flings back pretty fast and so it's like ooh, you definitely feel that shot going off so it did come with instructions, but the instructions were on the bottom of the box telling you to load your dart in, prime, and then pull the trigger. Pretty straightforward. But what I want to know is this thing has slam fire. So we're going to try that right now. It does have slam fire! No way! That's awesome! The Ranger's got slam fire. That's really cool. Alright, well what I want to do now, guys, is I want to take this outside Get a target out about 35 feet away, take a few shots, just check accuracy, that kind of thing. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, as you can see, we're outside. It is a little windy, so I don't know exactly how accurate I'm gonna be, but let's just see what I can do. Oh yeah, she's really windy. Not bad, it's getting the distance, that's for sure. That's about 30 feet away, I'm gonna say. Okay, let's do some slam fire. Woo, look at that wind. Ah, they're elite darts anyway, right? <laughs> so, got a couple more here. We'll see if I can hit that thing. You're not helping. Not bad. All right, so we're back inside. As you can see, it can definitely get the distance, but accuracy with the leaf darts, obviously not the greatest. Um, if you want accuracy, go with the event force ball play darts, right? A lot of us nerfers already know that. But this blaster, I have to say, I paid $25 for this, and $25 for a nerf blaster 
that operates this way and looks like this, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm a little impressed by the 2.0 right now because just how light this is, you get the slam fire, it's a bottom prime, five shots, not the four, smart QSR, whatever it is. <laughs> And it's cool that you get the five shots, not the four. Like, you know, they really like coming out with these four shots, don't they? I did end up getting this one too, but this is gonna be a whole other video. I got I got a few things I wanna say about this. But anyhow, we'll get to that one another day. But yeah, the five shots, the dark holder on the front, the grip does feel really good. I do like the grip on this. And the actual prime too does feel very comfortable as well. Um, Everything fits in my hands very, very nice. Like I said, for a 2.0, Ranger is very, very cool. Uh, if you are able to get this blaster, definitely. Like I said, I spent 25 bucks on it, and I know prices range from where you are, so depending on where you are, but then again, $25 for a blaster, uh, I like it. So I am, I'm definitely glad that I spent the $25 on this, because this is actually a pretty nice blaster. Uh, I'm quite impressed. Way to go. Way to go, 2.0. You got one. You got a good one. So that's my honest opinion on this blaster. Um, I, I hope I gave you some information on this to kind of give you a better judgment if you want to go out and buy this. But like I said, I definitely recommend it for the price. So thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you plan on getting the Ranger uh, or if you're even a fan of the 2.0 series as it is. Because some people... They just refuse and <laughs> they're like, I'm not getting a 2.0. But uh, yeah, so leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because it definitely helps out the channel. And make sure to have fun with those glasses, everybody. And keep on there.